really your kind of would, that, would it be right to say your sexual awakening was <laughs> was sort of was a two-dimensional <laughs> sexual awakening? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I hate New Year. <laughs> um, no, it's true. I, I, I was once interviewed and I was asked, like, well, you know, who were the, your first crushes? And, and, um, mm. and I did... I, I, I loved The Lion King when I was younger and I had a weird obsession with Nala. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was... <laughs> Look at her face, she's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> she can sing really well. <laughs> That's wrong. That is so wrong. <laughs> and is it true you like Maid Marian as well? <laughs> yes, that is true. She's a fox, though. No, yeah. but I had that too. Yeah, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 but in Eddie's defense... <laughs> in Eddie's defense, they draw them really sexy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What did you like, because Robin Hood? Robin Hood was quite sexy. We've got Robin Hood. There he is. <laughs> and that I'm tunic sorry. is worn very low, I notice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm, he's packing. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, we, we forced you to say you had a, a slight... In, uh, not a yen, for Wilma. Wilma Flintstone, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, yeah. What's not to like? <laughs> that was a hot cartoon lady, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we asked Bradley, he, but you, you were top of your head. You ah, were just like, oh, yeah. Straight yeah. up there. Sexy cartoons, got them. So uh, who, who did you like? Well, there's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how old you are, She-Ra. <gasps> oh. oh, look at She-Ra. And then Chitara. Chitara, classic. <laughs> 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 Oh, my God, could she run quickly? <laughs> now, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, Eddie is, in fact, a, a highly trained master magician. Now, are you a member of the Magic Circle? Um... No. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That, wow. That moment was one of, like, deep despair and loss. That, that was a dream when I was a child. Oh, was it never really? happened, oh, yeah. I was just Please joking. tell me you're about to... You're about to, you're about no, to present No, because I know that, I know that you can circle. do amazing magic. Because we have here just a totally ordinary colouring book. Oh. This is totally ordinary. Oh. But Eddie can do magic with it. <laughs> Isn't that right, Eddie? I, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Are you sitting comfortably, children? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> it's totally ordinary, Nothing but you mustn't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> just sit back. OK. I'm sorry. Eddie's got it. So excited. <laughs> so I loved uh, Paul Daniels. You probably won't know who Paul Daniels was. The late Paul Daniels was an amazing <laughs> magician that used to be on telly every Saturday night. I was obsessed with him. And I, this is my moment to be on television doing magic. Ben, are you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready this is a colouring book. There is nothing weird odd, or, or bizarre about it other than it says the word magic on the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, there is actually nothing in the colouring book I'm showing you. Do you see? There is yes, nothing, nothing in it. I can nothing, see. Nothing, there's nothing in it. <laughs> but, Brian. Yes. Will you blow on the colouring book? <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> No, harder than that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Blow hard. Okay. Uh, I might blow hard, OK? <sighs> let's, well, let's see what that's done, shall we? Oh! Oh, oh wow! Pictures, don't you know? Wow. That is some crazy okay. magic! There's more, there's more, more. Then. Don't stop me right there. There's more! <laughs> okay, uh, uh, okay, so the next stage is... So we've got... Now we have pictures. Ben, we have pictures. We have pictures. I can see the pictures. Um, will you blow on it? <laughs> I will, I will. Give me your full smog. I will blow hard. Okay, go, go. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> you know, it's Was it hard enough? <laughs> I should do panto. Oh, yes, yeah. I should. <laughs> uh, was but it hard mom, enough? we've talked about let's this, see, let's Mum. See, let's see. No, it wasn't hard oh. enough. Oh. But I'm a wizard. And I oh! That was good! Yeah, okay. <laughs> I've been sitting there awkwardly for the whole show. <laughs> Don't spoil it! Anyway, um, but, and, and maybe for, for full-on Marvel, like, wizarding crossover, crossover the potential Hello. for okay, Doctor Strange to come into the wizarding world. Will okay. you give us a spell, Ben? As a kajak. Yeah, good! <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. It's actually better than I did. <laughs> uh, 
Drum roll. Oh, yeah, there you go! Good boy. Good. Thank you for appeasing my greatest moment. Burn of my him! Life. Burn <laughs> him! <laughs> the thing is, because it, it's so unusual to have two such young Oscar winners. You know, this is normally something that happens. That's why for France. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You're part of an elite club. Mm. But the other thing you share is quite short lived careers in modelling. Oh, I thought you just said oh, short lived yeah. careers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, Wow. I was like, ooh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. So, because you now, what was your big break? Was it Where Vogue, Esquire? This? I think all, all of the above. Talk about your modeling. <laughs> talk about it. Or was it, in fact, you want me and to actually, talk about my modeling? No, I think he's about to talk about what? my modeling. Yeah, yeah, oh my no, God, because, you have because no, yes, because he did. You, look at these. Like it's hard to make a jumper sexy. True that. <laughs> but jumper, I think he's managed it. <laughs> Has wool ever looked hotter? I mean, seriously. Here's the thing. Your What's sweater the... has eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that was a high point. But oh, I, can, I think you can God. actually still buy that. And it's the, the point of that is you can learn to knit it yourself. So you oh. you guys can take one of those home and knit it yourself. Right, actually, I can buy the sweater and then I have to do it myself yeah. as well. No, actually, there's a classic thing in here. So you know when you want something for Christmas and you say to like your mom or your granny, oh, I'd really like a really trendy sweat top, I'd like a really nice trendy zippy up sweat top. And then they knit it for you. <laughs> 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 the Christmas nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. But you still do some modelling, don't you? Uh, sporadically and very unsuccessfully. Oh, um, stop it. You do I big brands. Well, I did do... I did some... Um, I did a campaign for Burberry, which was very amazing, and, and, and I did it a, f a few years ago, and Mario Testino shot it. Oh. And I remember doing... It was when I was just starting out, and there, in this photograph, there was a sort of... There was a, a, a model and me, an actor, wannabe actor, and a um, musician. And Mario Testino, who I'd never worked with, who is one of the most extraordinary, brilliant people, but he's just almost, in that moment, he was almost like a sort of parody of himself. So we had to run and jump for the photograph. And he goes, he's literally got the camera there, and he goes, OK, so darling, <laughs> you supermodel, you rock star, Eddie, you movie star, I'm Mario Testino, I want to see go! <laughs> <laughs> These two sort of pros and me with this. <laughs> <laughs> but he gets the photos because they're so natural ones of sort of shock and minor despair and uh, wonder, I think, at the same time. Because you... You, and you don't thing. have my picture. No, I yes. don't. Because and I'll tell you why. Yes, tell us why. Because it's really amazing job to get. I was an Abercrombie model. Get yeah. in. Abercrombie and Fitch, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah. Don't, don't make your hoots. <laughs> Please tell me into the story. <laughs> so, the, my pictures never came out. I did, like, the whole campaign, and the pictures never came out, and I didn't know why, and my agent wrote and asked why, and they literally only responded with the photos. <laughs> <laughs> because they, like, their whole, like, idea was, like, we want real people, so they... You know, they, like, got, I don't know, we were, like, on a beach, and then they threw us a football, and they're, like, play football. And all the other models were, like, playing football, like, in a pretty way, you know, like, <laughs> and not me. <laughs> <laughs> I was, all of the photos, I've got a red face, covered in sweat, my nostrils are flared, I'm like, go! In the back of a picture. And, like, at one point, a girl yelled, just get her away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. How come? It sounds like J.K. Rowling has just spilt her guts to you. You know, you know stuff that he doesn't. Know. Well, no, I, I'm not sure. We haven't we haven't cross referenced this yet, actually. Mm. But I, w when I was asked to to play the part, the first thing I felt was my responsibility was to meet J.K. Rowling and to question her about the the backstory and the. Um, the life of this incredible character because he is hugely beloved and, and I felt like it was a big responsibility. So she talked through uh, his childhood, a lot of which we all know from the Harry Potter books, up to this point, and she went a little beyond, Ooh. but not hugely, I mean. And most of what she told me was about 
Albus, not about everyone else. So, uh, you know, I know a little bit. I'm really sticking to this don't talk about it clause. Yeah. Don't pretend you stick to the secrecy clause. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the fun of doing these films. Hey, you're like, you read you tell everyone? No. no. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what As I like you can is, tell, if you're, but if I'm you're that really actor, boring person yeah. who will not spill <laughs> yeah. anything. But if you're, if you're an actor and you get cast as young Dumbledore, the one thing you do know is you live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Like, I'm in all these films. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's happening. You could that die. Definitely. You could die. Oh, that was all good. That's good. That's true. <laughs> all I have to worry about is growing that, keeping that beard growing. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> a big reaction from fans, a sort of a confused reaction from fans. Here are some of the tweets uh, when it got announced. I mean, Dumbledore <laughs> just got 200% harder. Oh, my God. There's another one. Uh, Jude Law is playing a young, hot and gay Dumbledore in Next Fantastic Beast. I'm sweating already. <laughs> God. Uh, this, 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 I think, sums it up quite nicely. Dumbledore, more like Dumbledown. <laughs> <laughs>